Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So today is another upgrade video, my 2025 Ford Maverick Hybrid All-Wheel Drive. I've been doing quite a few upgrade videos lately, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and check out the playlist for my 2025 Maverick for all the different upgrades I've been doing. So today, we're tackling the flex bed system. So I did not get the uh, luxury package, so I don't have the power outlet here for the light or anything like that. What we do get though, from your base model XL all the way up, is behind this little cover here, there's a little 12 volt port. So you may have found this thing in your glove box, said I wonder what that's for. Should, should have come with your Maverick. If not, you can buy them on Amazon or wherever. Basically that plugs into factory wiring. It provides a 12 volt source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be removing this cover that side is obviously where we store stuff. And I'm going to be adding a 120 volt outlet as well as a 12 volt power port and some USB A and C charging. I'm also going to be adding a, just a small bed light right there that you can flip on with a switch. Now one thing to consider is that these trucks are not wired <clears throat> for the 400 watt inverter. So if you got one with a luxury package or a Lariat up inside the truck, under the center console, there's a 400 watt inverter, there's an outlet inside, and then that there's wiring that runs back here, which is not in place on trucks that did not come with it. So unfortunately, without doing a lot of work and adding all new 12 volt wiring, we're kind of limited. The maximum size of a power inverter you're gonna be able to put here is about 200 watts, and even that's kind of pushing it. So you're not really gonna be able to power a whole bunch of you know, like high power stuff, like tools or anything like that without doing some significant work. So I will leave a link in the description to the inverter that I recommend. It's 200 watt, but it's pure sine wave inverter and will provide a nice clean output if you want to like charge a laptop or anything that pulls less than 200 watts. I happen to have this one lying around. It's a 150 watt inverter that I'm going to be using so let me just go over some of the other parts real quick. You kind of see quickly what we're trying to accomplish here. So this is the bed light I'm going to be using. This one's kind of neat because you can see it's pretty compact. It has two switches. There's red LEDs and white LEDs. So if you're getting in here at night and you want to maintain your night vision, you can do that. So that's going to be our light that we're adding. Again, the inverter I'm using. I have this little kit here. So it comes with three ports, which should fit nicely. You can kind of pick what you want, but in my case, this has got a, a USB-C, uh, two USB-As. It will actually show the voltage. And, it, and the important thing is it's got a power switch. So this isn't just always on back here, which I thought was handy. Again, 12 volt power port for whatever you need to plug in, maybe like an air pump or something. And the third thing I'm doing is this little switch here. This is going to be what provides power to the inverter again. That way the inverter is not always on for no reason. Just when I need it, I'll be able to flip the switch and turn it on. I also bought this here. This is a little IP44 120 volt outlet. Similar to what would come on the factory Maverick. You see, so we do some wiring. Wire that to inverter, and that will be a place we can plug in power. Cheap, this is only 10 bucks. All these parts are around 50 bucks, just depending on you know what you get here. So for under 50 bucks, we're gonna have a pretty cool modification. So the first thing I need to do is take these four 10 millimeter bolts out. I'm gonna pull this cover off right here. All right, so real quick, let's talk about what's going on behind here. So right now, there's nothing. So one option is you could add another storage piece on this side. But what you have to keep in mind is we're putting an inverter in here that cannot get wet. So ideal to be best to buy a IP rated inverter. But in one of my other videos, I showed installing the Maybet splash guard underneath here. That's going to keep water out of here. At least it'll keep water from splashing up into this area here. Very important. We want to keep this area dry. Obviously, you know, in car wash or something, there's a chance 
a little bit of spray is going to get up in there. But it's important that since we're mounting electronics in here, keep it dry. Now, alternatively, you could put one of the storage bins that would encase this whole area in plastic. You could just set your electronics in there and you'd have no worries. I'm just going to mount everything to the back of this plate. And like I said, it will be fine like that. All right, so I removed the little sticker that goes right there. This will fit very nicely right here. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have a hole saw that is the exact right size. This looks like one and three quarters or 1.75 inches would be perfect. All I have is a two inch and then one and a half inch. So what I'm gonna have to do is basically, you know, trace this. I'm gonna drill my one and a half inch hole and then have to kind of enlarge it manually. But I have a link to the correct hole saw that would work better for this, which is again, 1.75 inch. You know, I'll just take a razor, kind of enlarge that to where I can get this to fit. It almost fits with the one and a half inch. Let me open that up a little bit. All right, so not the prettiest thing ever, but I got it enlarged. It's just big enough to get that in there. Good. So now it comes with these uh, black screws, which I'll use. Put the gasket in there and just screw that in place. So there's how that looks. Right, so I think how I want to do this, is I'm going to put this kind of on the side. Something that says it has to go, you know, like this. That way the light's up kind of towards the top. Kind of have things maybe looking like that. That'll look okay. That way the light is up, like I said, towards the top kind of. So for this, it's kind of surface mount. Just need to drill a small hole where the wire is going to go through like that. And this one, we need to drill the three holes for our accessories to go in. All right, so here's the final outcome. I changed the design around a little bit because when these are in, you want for them to be waterproof, you want the little covers on the top. So basically like this, and my light's going to go right here. So we can just set this on here like this, decide, you know, what orientation you want these. I'll take these off. Set those in there. And then from the back, thread these on you kind of get the idea of what's going on here so that'll be like that the light can just feed through the hole and we'll screw everything down then we're ready to wire it all up that's kind of how it's going to look right here all right, so fast forward. I've got things wired up now. Let me show you what I did here. But this is the factory plug. So it's wired in. I put an inline 20 amp fuse, even though obviously it's fused from the factory. Just gonna make sure we don't pull more than 20 amps, which is what the factory rating is. Runs through the fuse, and then it kind of starts daisy chaining off of here, then onto here. These are just like some heat shrink connectors. And then it goes into the switch, out of the switch, comes into the inverter input, and then all, all the grounds are just tied together for everything. Okay? I just used an old, you know, cord off of something I had 
wired that onto uh, the outlet there. And then I can just plug that in here. And then I use double-sided tape and some adhesive to hook the inverter on. If you use the inverter that I recommend, you might have to find a slightly different solution. I don't know if it'll fit right here. This one's small enough that I can do this. So that's the finished product. So now all I gotta do is reach in here and take this. And so you can see this pops out. Pull this off of here. Just get this in here like this. Make this connection. Okay. That's obviously the truck probably needs to be on. Give it some ignition power. All right, so you can see things came to life. Got our voltmeter, 14 and a half volts. Can turn, remember, turn this on and off. The uh, outlet will always be on. There's the white light. There's the red light. And if I turn the inverter on, just heard the fan kick on on the inverter. We've got our 120 volt outlet working. Again, can't do a whole lot with it, but we've got 120 volts back here. And works pretty good. All right, so now I gotta do is get everything tucked in and get our bolts put back on. And that's how we do it. All right, so important to note, it's kind of like the cigarette lighter. This does have power even with the truck off. It's just for so long before the battery system times out. So if you turn the truck off, get out, come back here. The stuff does still work for a while until the electrical system times out. All right, so hopefully the video was helpful. Again, I'll have links in the description to everything I used. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Share the video if you think it was helpful. As always, appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.